Oh dear, we've got a problem here. Look at all these white wires. Wow. How am I going to tell them apart on the other side? Look at this. There's a whole nest of them. And they run all the way inside the building. There's no collars here. What do I do? I'll show you what I'm about to do. Very, very easy. So I need two hots. I need 240 going to this first disconnect right here for this AC unit and um, the rest of the wires will continue down to the other disconnects. So I'm going to take two white wires and I'm going to connect them, I need two, I'm going to connect them together with a wire nut. None of these are touching, that's very important, none of the other wires I have. I've got two of them connected together and stripped at one end and then I've got another one here that is connected to this ground this ground lug here which will have electrical path through this conduit all the way back to my box because I got conduit all the way back to my box so that's important pay attention to that so two connected together and one connected to ground here's my cluster fuck on the other end right here and I've got them all stripped coming out the conduit they're all stripped and I've got the most essential weapon they're as gorgeous and flawless as she appears my old trusty multimeter and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on audible continuity and that's that setting there that looks like waves touch these leads together man I should have brought a camera stand it will get a beeping we'll get a beeping See that? That means I have a path for electricity. Now think back. We connected two wires together on the other side. Okay. So I'm going to take one of these wires, any one of these wires, and first I'm going to determine which one my ground is. Remember, I've got one of these grounded, and the conduit is solid going all the way to this box. So I should have a path for electricity between one of these wires and this box here. Just double checking my leads together, making sure I hear that, that beeping, trying to keep these wires apart. Not that one. So let me get rid of that one. Holding one test lead on each wire, not that one. Not that one. Winner, winner! So, this wire right here is the one that I connected to the ground in the box, if you remember. That is connected to this ground, this ground. See that? I've got continuity between this box and this wire. And I don't have continuity between any of the other ones in the box. So, I'm going to mark this. That's my ground wire. Ah! And just run a straight down it until I can put some green tape on it later. But there's my ground right there. Now I still have my multimeter and continuity, audible continuity, touching my leads just to make sure. Sometimes these loosen up, so you gotta always test your multimeter by touching your leads together before you uh, start checking wires now we've got the other two wires connected on the other side remember that I put the wire nut and connected the two stripped wires together we're gonna find which ones that is so I got my test lead on one wire and I'm just gonna go through the group nope not that one nope not that one not that one not that one oh these two right here right here these two are connected together in this particular case these two are the hots for my number four disconnect tape them together label them number four and you mark your ends clearly Per NEC code, I will come back later and I will mark these ends clearly. I will mark one red and I will mark one black.
I'll wrap red tape right around one and black tape right around one. And say if I wanted to isolate one specific wire out of all of these, because I isolated two wires, I know that this batch of two right here are my two hots going to number four, but if I want to know specifically which one is my red hot or my left leg and which one is my right leg, I would just simply connect one of these to ground, connect it to my conduit body or something. I would unhook the ground that I have connected, connect it to ground, and test for audible continuity on this end, if you understand what I mean. So, when you get your multimeter, just go through the settings until you hear a beeping when you hold these two together. And it should say, if you're buying a multimeter, it should say on the package, audible continuity. Make sure it says that. That is the handiest freaking feature on a multimeter there is. That's how we do it. Audible continuity. Really easy, really quick, really efficient. So I've got two on this end now connected with a wire nut and none of these other ones are touching anything. I'm sure of it. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to mark and identify these two here that I've got nutted together. We already know that these are number four wires, the hots for number four, this number four unit. Okay, we're on the other end and remember at the panel I wire nutted two of them together. I've got my meter on audible continuity, one-handed. See, just double checking it. And now we're going to find the next two wires basically with the same process I just used. So I've got my lead on one. Now, these two right here. So these two are connected at the other end and these will be for unit number five. So let me mark these really quick. Got them twisted together real quick here. And I will wrap tape around these white tape that I've got on my belt. And I will label these number five. And I will do the same with this batch of wire going down the line. Hope this helps you. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the doobly-doo. I will do my best to answer them as quick as possible. Have a good day and stay frosty.